office equipment. Um, again, computers are all about turning stuff off, not leaving them on. There are, what, well, if you're over-enthusiastic, 50 to 60 working hours in a week. There are 169 hours, 168 hours in a week. 169 is just those extra long weeks. Uh, 168 hours in a week, um, of which 60, if you're a workaholic, you're going to be working. So more than two-thirds of the week, you're not there. So turn the computer off, OK? And that's immediate two-thirds saving. It amazes me how many organizations fail to do that. And in fact, one of the characteristics we're seeing now in the upper end of the office sector, people have got their base buildings running at four and a half, five stars. They are really pushing the technology. They're really doing lots of very exciting things. And the tenants can't even turn their computers off. So five star base building, two star tenancy. Not good. Using low power PCs, we have a wide range of options these days with, power, with, with personal computers. For anything from, from 100 watts per base unit down to about 40 watts per base unit. Um, so you can actually procure more efficient base units. Um, uh, my own organization uses almost entirely laptops, so that takes it down to about 25 watts a unit. And what's more, the power management on laptops is better. Um, and use the power management settings on your computers. Um, and remember that actually screensavers are not power management, they're screen management. So a screensaver does not save your energy. What you, what you want to do is if you, well, when, whenever you might be running a screensaver, just set your power management settings so that the monitor turns off. That saves you energy. For other office equipment, again, time of use control is paramount. And for the equipment that you can't turn off, set up the power management settings. So all of your, your printers and all that sort of stuff all have power saving modes, and they can be configured to give you significant power savings. Um, but the biggest thing here is to avoid excessive equipment. So that the, you do that by having a central print station with multifunction devices, rather than having lots and lots and lots of printers you know, diversified across the whole, the whole floor. Kitchen equipment, um, use three, three star or better fridges, et cetera, et cetera. So actually use the whiteware um, ratings to actually select uh, equipment. And Make sure you've got time clocks on your boiling water and chilled water units. Servers uh, can use an enormous amount of energy within a building. Um, we have this belief that you need to run a build it, you run a server at 22.5 plus or minus zilch with humidity managed within an inch of its life. It's rubbish, okay? ASHRAE, which is the American Society of Heating, Air Conditioning and uh, Engineers, uh, has put out a series of recommendations that instead of giving us an operating zone about this big, it gives us an operating zone about this big. And that's much more efficient. Uh, I could talk about data centers for a very long time, but I'm not going to. But the main thing is, is to recognize is that the technology is improving massively and very efficient, very, very quickly. So old, underutilized servers will be 10 times, literally, less efficient than um, a, a new server. 